A developing story, two people are dead and two more are in the hospital after a shooting north of Chiloquin last night. Records show that police received a 911 call reporting shots fired in the 900 block of Bronco Lane. Officers got there to find two people dead. Court documents named them as Brian Reynolds and Tiana Reynolds. Two others, Tina Smith and Andrew Reynolds, were seriously injured. Deputy District Attorney Cole Chase said to Newswatch 12 that the deadly shooting began as some form of a family dispute. The suspect is a 30-year-old convicted sex offender called Andrew No, is related to all of the victims either by blood or marriage. We're joined now by Newswatch 12's Adam Shumes, who's been following the story. He joins us now live at the crime scene. Adam, what can you tell us? Yeah, Brian, good evening. Tonight I can tell you that the suspect, Andrew, know that this isn't his first time with a run-in with the law, not in shooting related, but in a couple of other crimes. I'll break that down for you in just a second. Let's talk about the here and now. I've been out here since about three o'clock today, and you can hardly tell that a shooting, a deadly shooting took place just more than 24 hours ago. It's quiet. I'm in a remote area of Chiloquin. You can see behind me, this is the house where it did take place. Some lights are still on. Don't know if anybody's home. There's a gated area, but you can tell there's been some incident. Let's pull up that mugshot of the suspect. His name is Andrew No. I'm going to kind of read off a list of some crimes, stuff that he's been involved in in the past. This is also from court documents. In 2013, No was convicted in Marion County of first degree sex abuse and delivery of marijuana to a minor, resulting in his sex offender status. No was accused in 2018 of threatening a woman with a gun in Lynn County, but the charge were later dismissed after the court found the alleged victim incompetent to testify. Now, No made his first court appearance in Klamath County today. His next appearance is scheduled for November 22nd. Obviously, this continues to be a developing story and we'll continue to dive into learn and dive in and learn more information as we get them. Just a reminder, two people are dead and two others are in two separate hospitals tonight as what police and a probable cause affidavit are all calling this a family incident. But for now, we're live from a very chilly, rainy, windy, and wet Chiloquin tonight. I'm Adam Shumes, News Watch 12. Brian?